In this video, we are going to discuss the concept of economic rent and transfer earnings for perfectly elastic supply. It is almost impossible to find a real life example for perfectly elastic supply. The close we can get is the labor market for fast food chain restaurants. As we have discussed earlier, the skills required is almost identical for all these restaurants and they have been paid a minimum wage. So in this case, if a company reduces the wage even by a small amount, all the labor will actually transfer to other companies and they will be moving to other restaurants. So if that is the case, the supply curve would actually look like parallel to the x-axis. This is quantity supplied and origin. And if this is the demand curve, this would be P1 is the in the equilibrium and this would be the quantity supply. This is an example for perfectly elastic supply. The point here to note that there would be no surplus earnings than the minimum rate or the minimum wage. So all this would be transfer earnings. The concept of transfer earning is that it is the minimum rate that you have to pay to keep the factor, factor in production in existence. So if we were to reduce further to the minimum, it will actually go to zero. So in this case, it fits perfectly for this case. So if you look at it, the economic rent for perfectly elastic supply, it is actually zero. This is to the contrary for perfectly inelastic supply where there is no need for us to pay, there, there is no need for transfer earning to keep the land in use because it is being given as free. So all the earning was actually a surplus and we call it as economic rent. But for perfectly elastic supply, it is the opposite because if you were to reduce even by one rupee, then all the people would actually shift from this company to another company. So what is being paid in the market would be transfer earnings and there is no economic rent. Now these two cases are extreme cases. Now if you look at unit elastic supply or inelastic supply or elastic supply, you will find both economic rent and transfer earnings which we will discuss in the next video.